The following production was paid for by Budget Max. Welcome to Jason Carmichael's How to Become a Troubleshooting Pro Office Edition, an instructional cassette that will teach you how to become an office troubleshooting pro. In this session, you will learn the following critical techniques. Workplace safety. Know where all the fire exits are located. Office etiquette. How to get along with everyone in the office, for the most part. Dealing with workplace harassment. How to get back at the guy that stole your lunch from the break room fridge and get away with it. Printer jams. Just be patient with it. The hidden potential of using post-it notes. The importance of computer upgrades. Keystroke accuracy. Don't fudge the numbers. How to keep a cubicle clean and clutter free. Lastly, we'll look at Jason's patented computer techniques so you can become a whiz on the keyboard. For best results, we recommend listening to this tape at least twice a day for the first week. Let's start the program. What you see is what you get. Hello, I'm Jason Carmichael. Did you know that on average only about 13% of people know how to troubleshoot? It's true! Today, however, we are going to remedy this with the power of sonic transformation. 
Some say my techniques are outlandish and that they only yield small results. They also say my products contain subliminal messages. Well, I say, if you listen long enough, you will find that they're all wrong. Armed with this program, you too can become a master troubleshooter. Thank you for your time and your purchase. Initiate Sonic Transformation. Thank you. 
All lines are busy. Please hold. We will now start the practice test portion of the program. Please turn to page 42 in your workbook. Replacement books can be ordered by writing to Budget Max Corporate Office. Follow along as I read the sample question. It is Sam's first month on the job. He shows real potential. Sadly, though, he is already experiencing work overload from his boss, Maggie. She tells Sam to work harder and has him stay late at the office every Friday. Sometimes he does so without getting paid for the extra hours. Sam often notices other employees not contributing to the workload, and most days he will complete twice as many cancellations as them. He verifies this by looking at the weekly workflow report. He mentions this to Maggie, but she gives little concern to the matter. What should Sam do in a situation like this? Should Sam A. Continue to do the work of two people and keep his mouth shut B. Report Maggie to upper management and risk retaliation C. Install a mainframe virus on the office computers Or D. Start working slower and let the work pile up Answer D has been marked as the best answer. If Sam continues to work hard, he will only become more stressed. His hard work will only make Maggie appear to be a good manager. Answer B can sometimes work, but in corporations like this, they are usually corrupt from the top down. Retaliation almost always occurs. Answer C is too high risk and could lead to termination. You can now take this time to answer 50 questions that will build your troubleshooting skills. It is recommended you set a timer for 30 minutes while doing so. Try not to overthink and you should do fine. Good luck!
This is the end of the program. We hope you enjoyed listening and learned some new office skills. Here at Budget Max, we're confident you will come back for all your troubleshooting needs. We ask that you tell a friend about our products, and by doing so, you will earn a 3% credit towards other Budget Max products. Our slogan is Big Budgets Equal Max Profits. Duplication of this cassette is strictly prohibited. 